Okay guys, welcome back to another video. So I've seen so many people on Facebook forums, online, just basically saying that they're always struggling with their masks fogging up. So I've been dying for about eight years and this is, I've gone through probably, probably used about five or so masks, give or take. I usually sort of get a bit bored and then want to try something new or try some of the newer sort of technology in the masks. But every time that I've used a mask, um, you always need to treat it before it fogs up because if you end up just going diving straight away with a mask straight out the shop or straight online, then it's going to be fogging up so i'm going to show you exactly how to stop your mask from fogging up completely and um, what we're going to be using as there are quite a few different variations of masks that you can actually buy now we're going to be using my hollis m4 mask which i already have treated before but we're going to do it again just to show you um reason why we're doing it on two masks is because i've got a brand new scuba pro mask here which i use as a backup and i think i've used it once um and i've not actually ever treated this before so what we're going to do is i'm going to show you the two different types of masks as you can see we've got one with two lenses and then one with like a full face sort of lens so we're going to show you the different variations and how to stop your mask from fogging up ever again so yeah let's get into it okay so the first thing that you want to be doing um one thing that's really good about everything that i'm going to be showing you how to do is guarantee you'll have it in your house so what you're going to need firstly is a lighter a cloth and then what you want to do is you want to rinse your mask off doesn't matter how many times you've used it whether it's brand new or whether it's You've had it for years and it's always been fogging up or you just want to try something new just to keep your lens clear. So obviously we've got the two masks here. What you want to do is because these are, or this one's a new mask, because it's come straight out of the factory, the the, um, the actual tempered glass has like a layer of, um, it's like a chemical sort of film. So what you want to do is you get a lighter here and you want to hold your, hold the flame about five or so, um, millimeters away from the actual lens itself and then you just sort of want to make your way around the lens on the inside and you'll see that it will start should hopefully sort of turn a little bit black and all that black sort of stuff is is the crap basically burning off so let me show you how to do that now Okay, so now you've just seen how to do that roughly there's not really a set sort of time limit you just kind of have to do it and your mask should sort of hopefully look like something like that and as you can see all this black stuff is a little bit of the um sort of the smoke coming off the light but it also is all of the chemicals that are burning off so as you can see now the lens is literally black so now what you want to do is get a little microfiber cloth and then polish all that off all right, so now as you can see, I've cleaned off most of it as I can. You can see that there are the little bits sort of there, but don't worry about that because the next process that we'll be doing will then start sort of polishing the actual lens up. So what I'm now going to do is show you how to do it on a single lens sort of full face mask. <laughs> this is a single lens it's, and i've done it before so around there sort of around this edge there wasn't really a lot of the chemicals to burn off but there's still a fair bit that's built up over time and remember that as humans our faces are greasy so you might want to do this a few times maybe over maybe like once a year or if you know you're going on like a long dive trip and you haven't been diving in a couple of months um i'd sort of do this process and then you can repeat this process as much as you like because it's only going to make your mask sort of cleaner so as you can see managed to sort of get it nice and kind of black i mean the darker you can get it the sort of better but you don't want to end up risking damaging the lens too much by getting it too hot and you also need to watch out for burning the um the actual skirts around the side so you don't want to be melting them either so you just need to be careful with it and make sure that you're holding the lighter about i'd say roughly so that the actual tip of the lighter is sort of the actual very point of the lighter is just sort of skimming the surface and then just sort of uh, work your way around. But as you can see, it really doesn't matter what type of mask you have, whether you've got 
the sort of the twin lenses or just the full sort of face um, single lens, it still works the same way and it's still the same process. Okay, so our next process, sorry if it's the uh, audio sounds a bit weird, but obviously I'm in the bathroom. Next stage is to actually polish the insides of the lens. Um, the reason why we do this is we're using toothpaste and it can be any sort of toothpaste, so... Toothpaste. So, for example, this is just what I'm using. Ideally, it doesn't want to be toothpaste that's got the little layer crystals in it. Um, it wants to be like a normal sort of white toothpaste. And the reason why we do this is it polishes the inside of the lenses, adds like a bit of a layer to it, and that layer stops it from fogging up. And then it also helps with the vision because if you think about it, if you leave these inside the lenses dirty, the, when you wear them, the actual vision will be distorted a bit. So basically this is just polishing it, making sure it's all nice and clean. People do say is to try not to use your finger, but um, because like a lot of your fingers they'll have like oil on them. But personally, considering we're cleaning it and we're going to be rinsing it all off, I wouldn't worry about that at all. You've scrubbed the inside of the lenses with toothpaste, use your finger, rinse it all off, try and get as much toothpaste out as you can. Um, you will get little bits that will be sticking into the corners, but don't worry about that. Next, you want to grab a microfiber cloth and then clean them. Now the next thing is going to be another little remedy that you can use. Chances are that this will be enough to stop it, but before diving or when it's in your traveling gear and when you're packing all your gear up, chances are you're going to be getting sort of dirt and any ingress on the inside of the lenses. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a homemade remedy to stop your mask fogging up and to clean it before you go diving. A lot of people say, oh, well, you can buy all this sort of stuff and you buy all this sort of stuff, but don't bother because that's just a waste of money. So all you need is a little spray bottle, which you can find anywhere in your house. There's an empty spray bottle, a little bit of... Um, Sort of washing up liquid and then fill it up with water so we're going to do that now and then i'll show you the uh, steps that you do if you're on the boat or if you're just about to go for a dive okay so literally after two minutes of searching i can guarantee anyone who's watching this video will have an empty spray bottle or a spray bottle that's virtually empty doesn't matter what it is this one's just some hair product thing um all you need to do is rinse it out make sure you get rid of whatever's inside it <whistles> thanks dog for ruining my video <laughs> Okay, carrying on. So, like I was saying before, find any sort of spray bottle, doesn't matter what it is, just as long as you clean the insides of it really well. Um, then you want to get some washing up liquid, doesn't matter what washing up liquid it is. Fill that up, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the sink and pretend that it is the sea, I guess. Chances are if you're on a dive boat as well, before you enter the water there will be like a bucket full of fresh water, so essentially that's what I'm going to be replicating with this. All we're going to do is make the solution. Um, wants to be sort of 10% fairy liquid, then the rest can be water. You don't need a lot at all. All you do is spray the insides, rinse it in there, stick it on your face, jump in, and then you're done. Okay, that's literally all you have to do. You don't need to buy any sort of fancy chemicals or defogging chemicals. It's so easy to do. It will take you about four minutes, four or five minutes, and chances are you will have all of these. Um, everyone's going to have some form of washing up liquid. doesn't matter what brand it is or what colour it is. Literally 10% washing up liquid, 9% the rest of water, uh, a lighter and toothpaste. So as you can see now, when I was rinsing it off, just wiping it around with my finger, quickly dunking it, 
And then if you're on the dive boat, you would put that on your face straight away. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how well this works by doing a little fog test. And you can do this as well to make sure that you've done like a decent job. And all you do is put the mask on your face and then blow out your nose. And that puts all the hot air into the insides of your lens. And then that will sort of show whether it's going to fog up or not. If it does, then I'll try sort of maybe the process over again or try to put a bit more toothpaste on it and then basically just go from there. Okay, I guess it's time for the test and the moment of truth. So what we've done so far is burn all the inside of the chemicals off with the lighter, wiped it off, toothpaste, scrubbed it around with your finger, rinsed it off and then got your microfiber again, polished the insides, made up a little solution with 10% uh, fairy liquid or any form of just washing up liquid then 90% water, spray it on the inside, dunk it into fresh water or salt water, it doesn't really matter, and then you put it on. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the mask on and blow out my nose, and then if it fogs up, then we're going to need to do this process probably again, or you can just go over it again with toothpaste. So yeah, moment of truth. Okay, now I have my lovely wet mask on, and I probably look like a dick because I'm wearing it. I'm not actually going to go dive, but I'm going to just blow out my nose and then see if it fogs up on the inside. Nope, not fogging up, can't let you see very well. No, not fogged up at all, so we're going to try it on this other one. Another test for the Scuba Pro mask is doing the exact same thing, blowing out my nose. All the heat would normally fog up the mask, but for now... I've got a dog joining me. Daisy wants it, maybe we could put the mask on here. Or whether they should just try and eat it. I don't think that's going to work, but yeah, anyway, if I blow out my nose... Okay. As you can see, this lens is fogged up a little bit. Which isn't really a massive problem. All we'd really need to do is, that's quite a good example actually. So all we'd really need to do is probably put, Daisy, you're not helping my video here. Um, all you'd really need to do, get all the water off my face is either rinse it with the shampoo again or um, put a bit more toothpaste on. So we're going to try that now. So if I put a bit more of this spray on, and this is to sort of reenact what you'd do before a dive. Mask is now back on my face, looking like a dick in the kitchen. Blowing out my nose. And see how it's not fogging up? So essentially what this does is it puts like a layer of like a layer of the soap onto the lens and then that sort of stops the barrier between the lens and then that stops it fogging up. Okay, so that is now this video finished. It is an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to stop your mask from fogging up. As you can see that my Scuba Pro Vibe 2 mask, uh, the first time that we tried the fogging test, it did fog up. And I think that's because this is the first time that I've ever actually properly tried to um, clean it and sort of defog it. Um, as you can see, the Hollis M4 mask, which is my daily one, or my daily one, my normal one that I'd normally be using, and my Scuba Pro one is just the, uh, my backup. As I've done it quite a few times on this mask, that's why it doesn't fog up. So um, chances are, if you want to repeat the process, then you can, it'll only be good. It'll only just sort of do you, do you a favor, really. Um, and then, or you don't really need to do it. it uh, what I'd recommend really is to maybe Say if you're going on a dive trip next week, a couple of days before you go, sort of clean your mask and do this process again. What I will do in the um, in the description is I will write out like a step-by-step -step guide and it will literally take you like three minutes. Um, and it's using everything that you'll have in a normal house anyway, so you don't need any special equipment or tools and you definitely don't need to be sp uh, spending money on like sort of random sprays that they have. Um, I've done it before, admittedly. Um, I sort of bought something of Simply Scuba and I think it was like 12 quid and I was like, yeah, this is going to sort my mask out forever, sprayed it on and then it literally started fogging up. So you don't need to do that. So we need lighter toothpaste and some washing up liquid. So that is it for this video. Um, I'm going to make this like a bit of like a series, like a segment, um, which is going to be like five minutes sort of dive tips or like however long this video is going to be. I'm going to try and sort of wrap it up quite quickly because I want it to be a quick video, a quick helpful video. If this did help you, Please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. I know that there are a lot of other ways you can um, sort of defog a mask. People say like baby oil and sort of weird stuff like this, but this is just the easiest way to do it. And I've been doing this sort, sort of for like eight years or so. I've been using this technique and it's worked every time. So yeah, 
Thank you for watching. If there's any other videos you want me to make, then leave a comment down below. And if this helps you out, I hope it does. Leave a comment down below if it did. And follow me on Instagram, breathing below. And I'll see you next time. Peace.